Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everyone, this is a video that I actually meant to make last week, but I was extremely busy, so it is what it is. Regardless, we're here today. And yes, you have read that title correctly. Netflix is now an official video game company because they have acquired their first video game developers, Night School Studio. And for those of you who are unaware, Night School Studio has been around since 2014 and they made a couple of hit video games like At The Party as well as Next Stop Nowhere, but they're best known for their work on Oxenfree and they're also making a sequel to this game called Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals, which is scheduled to release next year in 2022 for all major consoles. Now with that being said, let's take a look at what Netflix had to say about acquiring their first video game development company. We're in the early stages of creating a great gaming experience for our members around the world. So we're excited to announce today, Night School Studio is joining Netflix. Founded by Sean Cronkill and Adam Hines in 2014, Night School Studio is best known for the critically acclaimed debut game, Oxenfree. We're inspired by their bold mission to set a new bar for storytelling and games. Their commitment to artistic excellence and proven track record make them invaluable partners as we build out the creative capabilities and library of Netflix games together. We'll continue working with developers around the world and hiring the best talent in the industry to deliver a great collection of exclusive games designed for every kind of gamer and any level of play. Like our shows and films, these games will be included as part of your Netflix membership, all with no ads and no in-app purchases. Stay tuned for more. So there you all have it, and I think this is a really big move for Netflix because they're undoubtedly the number one streaming app around the world, and I wonder how these video games are going to work because Netflix is a streaming platform, although you do have the option to download your movies or TV shows, so it's probably going to work the same way with the video games. You have that option to either stream that video game or download it. Of course, we do have to get official details from Netflix themselves, but it's probably going to work the same way. Plus, this is probably the real reason why Oxenfree 2 was delayed until 2022 because I'm pretty sure that Netflix was working on acquiring Night School Studio for a while now and they would like to release Oxenfree 2 on all major consoles as well as Netflix's platform at the same time. So I'm pretty sure they just said, okay, let's just delay this game until we have the Netflix gaming platform up and ready and this should be sometime in 2022. So all in all, I'm really excited to see what Netflix does with this and what other video game studios that they will acquire in the future. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.